we are picking one animal from the enclosure and identify that animal by specific markings or facial features. You want to follow that primate for a certain amount of time to understand what percentage of time they use to do each behaviour. Right now we're collecting what the animal is doing at every 20 seconds for a total of one hour. Gibbons are notoriously known for being hard to follow in the wild because they have long ranges and they also move very quickly. So here you're not getting those distances that you would get in the wild. It's definitely more difficult than I anticipated because you've got your inside area here, but there's also an outside area that they can run back and forth between. A lot of times we lose them and have to find the animal that has the markings that we're looking for. Today, uh, studying the Emperor Tamarin, I've realized that they do need warm areas, protected areas in their enclosure. They're spending quite a lot of time in the indoor part of the shelter quite close to the heat lamp. So that maybe indicates that they're probably feeling a little bit cold and it is sort of winter time here in England. Mm -hmm. 